Hey guys, welcome to the 16th episode of the Glide tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, tilting control, so the whole accelerometer thing. Um, last episode we worked on the control, but those were for devices that do not have this accelerometer module that we're actually using in our game. So uh, we're going to be actually playing with that today. It's technically already working, but um, we'd like to make it more user friendly so you can actually enable and disable this if you want to. Now what we're going to be doing is head over to the menu scene. In the menu scene, inside of the main menu um, here, this main menu actually, we're going to be adding a new button. So if we just right click on it, we add a new button. Let's anchor it at the top left, why not? And let's also give it a skin. So the same button skin we always put, one underscore button. And under button here, you're going to have the transition. Transition is going to be sprite swap and the highlighted sprite is going to be two underscore button. So the same stuff as we always do for button. Let's just move this, say at 50 and then minus 50. And as far as the width goes, let's actually put something like, um, not 300, that's too much. So 250 and then 50. I think that's, that's fair actually. Now, as far as the text goes inside of it, I'll just call this tilt control, just like this. And I might actually make it a little bit bigger. Let's go with 20. And bold font, why not? This always looks very intimidating. And what I plan on doing with this button is to actually put the color of the button. So this thing, uh, where is it at? Right here on either green or red. Well, greenish or reddish, uh, depending on if it is enabled or not. So is the user actually using the tilt control or is he not using? Also, if we don't have a accelerometer, I don't even want to show this button to my user. We don't want to even hint to him that he has um, that he doesn't have the device required for this. So what we're going to be doing right now is actually first, let's start by renaming this. That is the accelerometer button. And if I miss the, the actual pronunciation of this, I'm sorry, I just I don't really care. Please don't let me know in the comment. Okay, cool. Now that I got that out of the way, uh, we're going to be opening up our favorite script, the menu scene script. And inside of here, we need a few lines to make this work. The first line is going to start with a field. So let's go to the very top of our script and let's do a public uh, button in this case, a public button that is the uh, tilt control button. And let's go with a public color as well. So tilt control enabled. And of course, tilt control disabled. So we're going to be having those two colors to just display the state of the controls right now. Um, and now what I'm going to be doing is inside of the start, we're going to be actually writing down that mechanic. So at the very top here, let's actually move the temporary right about there. So I don't forget about it later on. But um, just below this, we are going to be actually check if we have a accelerometer and if we do not, we're going to hide the button. So if system info that supports the accelerometer, uh, if it does, well, is it currently enabled? So we're going to be doing tilt control. This is actually tilt control button. So tilt control button dot get component, the image component of it. Then we're going to do color. So we're going to be changing the color, whether it's enabled or not. So is equal to, and then we start the ternary operator, save manager instance state using the accelerometer. And if it is, we're going to be using the um, tilt control enabled color. So do we have it right here? No. Okay. So I've made a mistake at the top here. So tilt like this. Let's write down so tilt control enable if it is, and if it's not, tilt control disabled. Sorry for that mistake. I'm just trying to type really fast, but it doesn't always work out. Okay, now in case we do not have a accelerometer, I'm going to do a else statement right here. I'm going to say tilt button, so tilt control button. Let's do a game object, set active, and we're setting that to false. Now, what's going to happen with this is we're never ever going to be seeing this button on the computer. Even though we plug in the Unity remote like we've done last episode, uh, we're never ever going to be seeing this because it still thinks that the system, when we do a system info, it still thinks that this is the computer. 
and the computer, of course, does not support it. Um, however, the controls are going to work on your remote. We're just not going to be able to see the button. If we do not support it, then uh, our logic makes it so we're never actually going to see this in the game. We're never going to have this on through in the game. So we're going to have to build it real quick, just test it out on the device, see if it feels good or not. And uh, you're going to see it's going to work out great. Now we need one more thing right here, and it's to actually have a function that's being called when we press on that button. So let's go at the very bottom here, and just after all of these button functions, we're going to declare a new one. So public void on tilt control click, or on tilt control is up to you. All we really have to do right here is to toggle the accelerometer boolean. Uh, we do that by doing a save manager instance state using accelerometer is equal to not the same exact thing as this. So there we go, we just swap the boolean just like this. And then let's actually make sure we save the player preference. So make sure we save the player preferences by doing a save manager, not a Samsung TV, uh, a save manager instance save. What is that doing in here anyway? Cool. Um, and then let's change the display of the button. So we'll change the display image of the tilt control button. And I've misspelled it again. Okay, cool. Um, to change the actual color of the button, I'll just be copying this thing that we have here. So this line that we wrote earlier, copy this over to your button function. Now, of course, since we have a button, we are going to actually link the function to it. So let's head over to the tilt control button we have. And let's actually go under the button component, click here, find the menu scene. And under the menu scene component, there is going to be our on tilt control button. Here it is. So what's going to happen right here is we are going to be launching this inside of Unity. Just have a look at what happens. So the preloader is over. And as you can tell, oh, we do get a problem. What is this problem right here? We did not set the reference, most likely. So let's head back in the menu really quickly. Um, we have the button not being set. And it's just, that's that's all it was, actually. So let's open up the canvas, then main menu, the accelerometer. And we're also going to be setting the color. So in case it is enabled, let's go for a light green, just like that. Now, if it's disabled, we're going to be going for a light red. Sounds fair enough. Let's boot the preloader scene again. And here we go. So it's actually working right now, but we can't tell because we do not have the, um, we don't have a external meter on the actual computer. So what we're going to be doing right here, we are going to build this to our phone. I know this is insane. Let's call this build and we're going to be pushing this APK right on our device right now. So Oh, I forgot we don't have a bundle identifier just yet. So let's click on OK, go under player settings. And under the other settings, we're going to be uh, actually changing that for say com. And then the name of the company. The company name is N3K in this case. And we're going to be calling this Glide Tutorial. In my case, of course, you change it to whatever you want. I'm going to be pressing Control and B just to build again. And we're going to be swapping over to the other camera. And I need a haircut. Nice. Okay, let me just open this phone really quickly. And you should see my build quite soon. Please don't mind, the phone is quite dirty. And is the tilt button in here? It's actually not in here. Oh no, it is in here, just the control. <laughs> the problem is, you can't tell right now, it's really small. The text is here, but um, the button alpha is actually zero. So we're gonna have to go back and fix this. So back on the main menu, we're going to go under the menu scene. These these uh, colors here, they need to have alpha. So let's bump the alpha to the maximum amount, just like this. And I also want to fix something else really quickly under the um, under the player settings. So I'll go back under build settings, player settings, and the resolution and presentation. I'm going to fix this on landscape left. And I don't want to have any other resolution in this. So it doesn't actually just try to um, resize the game while I'm holding the phone. So back to my face and back to the phone. That's the previous build right here. And here is the new game. So it's kind of upside down. Should have been landscape right. Um, you can barely tell up here, but it's green. So it is actually enabled. And do you see what happens if I actually tilt the phone? So if we just tilt the phone a bit, as you can tell, the plane moves and that is the controls we want um, for this right here. Now, if I press on the button, it should go red. 
and as you tilt, it go red. Now the tilting doesn't do anything. To have this actually move, you have to drag your finger like this. Let's actually turn it back on. And as you can tell, now it's the tilting again. So that's pretty much all we need for our controls. That's all we needed to do today. So that's pretty much all we needed to do to make this work. Um, the Like I said, the controls were already working. The controls were already coded in there. We just needed to make sure that it works on a device. And we tested it out using the accelerometer, the actual real thing. So that's where we're going to be ending up today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In the next one, we're going to be looking at the... Okay, I can't write. I'm sorry. We're going to be looking at the player prefab and also the player camera. So that's something in the other scene, the game scene. We're going to start tackling the game scene. So uh, again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video, check out the Patreon page. I click on this video if you haven't already. If you're still here, what are you doing? Just move on. Move on to the other video. We can't stay here all day. You got to make games. Got to make games. Click on this now.